Uh, and that's what we saw the winds in uh, the top wind speeds, 80 to 90 miles an hour. We saw the rain, in some cases as much as five to six inches. We saw the hail, sometimes baseball to softball size. Saw everything yesterday. Right now, pretty quiet. All we're seeing out there, a lot of clouds, maybe a sprinkle just on the north side of Epley. 64 degrees at the airport right now, dew point of 61. Winds out of the north at about five to 10 miles an hour. Cooler and drier air on the way this afternoon. Super Doppler 7 radar shows just this little band of light sprinkles, maybe Fremont, Blair, Missouri Valley, Neola, and Harlan. You're seeing it right now. Again, could see something in the metro. Just a couple of raindrops here or there this morning. That's about it. But we definitely saw the rain yesterday. Look at this. 5.3 inches. You will hear that number over and over again today. That's what Epley saw yesterday in 24 hours. Just about two and a half inches in Norfolk. Uh, lighter amounts, but still impressive nonetheless. 1.41 inches at the airport in Lincoln, 2.10 at Atlantic. Anywhere you see the orange and red on the map here, stretching in spots across the viewing area, that's where you could have seen three to four inches. And a lot of uh, flooding, uh, at least flash flooding in the streets of Omaha yesterday. A lot of flash flooding across southwest Iowa and northwest Missouri. And now we're looking at river flood warnings in effect in those areas. We have the specifics on KETV.com. There's so much, too much for me to list in a short forecast like this. But you can head over there and get all the details uh, for all the river flood warnings. That line of storms pushing through St. Louis right now. They still have a severe thunderstorm warning with the heavy rains in Illinois. Starting to wind down right now, but that same system could bring more severe weather to the Ohio River Valley later this afternoon and evening. Meanwhile, it's quiet off to our north. That's what we like to see. We're going to see clouds around this morning, but look at this. By noon, we're already starting to see more sun. Could have a stray sprinkle in southwest Iowa. Going into this afternoon, mostly sunny. With the fair weather cumulus clouds, a small chance we see a pop-up shower in western Iowa. That would be about it. I'm expecting most of us to be dry. Otherwise, once the sun sets, mainly clear skies, pretty calm overnight. Late tonight, there's a small chance we see a rain shower south and west of Omaha. But again, we have mainly dry conditions coming up for the next 24 to 48 hours. As far as temperatures go, today we're starting off in the mid 60s at 9 o'clock with that sun by noon, low 70s. Our high today, 77 around 3, 4 o'clock, still in the mid to upper 70s by 6 o'clock this evening. And at 9, starting that downturn, 72 degrees. Our overnight low, 59. And with lower dew points, that's enough where you can open up the house, turn off the air conditioning, and give that a break for a day or two. A straight thunderstorm possible tomorrow with a weak front, 81, partly cloudy on Friday. But keep an eye on Saturday. We could be looking at more widespread thunderstorms and potentially some locally heavy rainfall.